Hey guys, I'm me Props, and today I'm going to be making a industrial sci-fi gauntlet thing. So I was really inspired by William Shakespeare's plasma gauntlet video that he made a while back, and so I'm going to try to replicate something similar to that just using cardboard instead of foam. The first thing you want to do is make a, a hexagonal tube that tapers in a little bit towards your wrist, and then cut about 90% of the middle of it out just so that you can see your arm through it. And then go through and reinforce all the angles with some cardboard. I then went through and made this little raised bit near the end of the forearm, kind of where your elbow would be, and I just glued that on and tapered it a little bit. Then I went through and glued on a few panels just covering up all of the exposed corrugation lines, and then some of the parts of the cardboard which had been ripped away on accident. Uh, you don't have to do this, you could just leave it plain, but I wanted to cover up all the exposed cardboard just to give it a more in-world look as opposed to something thrown together in a couple hours. Um, then I went through and glued together some more details and strips and stuff just to give it a more sci-fi look. And then I went through and got some pieces and made a wrist gauntlet piece. This is going to be attached to the main bracer part using some wires attached by some velcro. I then went through and glued on a bunch of sci-fi parts just using whatever I had in hand. You really want like a scrap bin or something just full of random odds and ends that look really cool. I mean I had a part of an old computer fan that I used on this as well as a bunch of failed 3D print parts like a robot head is in the front as well as some parts from some old flashlights. Just keep any old electronics or anything just because it gives it a really nice sci-fi look. For all like the buttons and stuff I just used some parts from an old broken Xbox remote. Once that's done, you can go give it a nice base coat of black. Be sure to hit all of ang the angles so that you can cover up all of the old plastic and cardboard. And then go through and coat it in orange. Uh, you could use yellow like most industrial things, but I didn't have any yellow, so I just used orange. I did mask off some areas where I wanted to paint silver just because black acts as a better base coat. And then I went through and gave everything a nice dry brushing with an old sponge. And overall, I think this turned out pretty good. I did do some weathering with some brown paint just to give it a nice worn, rusted look. And I think that turned out pretty well. I definitely like the look that this has. It kind of looks Fallout-y, if you know what I mean. Uh, be sure to check out my Etsy shop, guys. I have a bunch of stuff on there. I, I might have this on there at some point. I, I don't have it right now, but I do have a lot of lightsabers and things that I've made. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and get notified for future updates. If you guys have anything you want me to build, let me know, and I'll see if I can't make them. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See ya.